um today i learned of another surprise i went into my kumai tank and i don't know if you can see but i realized that my kumais have actually spawned again mm -hmm. um those are newly hot fries the the brighter ones are the ones that are probably about two months old while well, you see my thumb might look like um tiny things swimming around those are the younger ones um so i am gradually becoming a a chromite fish um keeper it's really interesting um so the chromite in which i have is fully a nuclear family right fully a nuclear family with the parent as i said before <laughs> she getting them to carry them down because i've actually discovered them right was a lot of them right um is hope that i'll be able to manage all of this right as they grow and mature into other size fish so that's practically it I hope that you will find this one interesting. So about eight weeks ago, I had chromite spawn. I thought that this chromite spawn uh, would go out to be adult fish before the other um, other chromites were um, the chromites actually spawned again, but that was not so. Um, I might just after this spawn have actually matured a bit i might just remove the parents and place them elsewhere so as to allow for um other so as to allow for these fish to actually develop and they are very fine i i do not know if you can see them if you look good in the water you will see them all right very fine very very fine they are fine yes but they are not as fine as the goldfish fries right so in fish keeping you have to practice the idea of looking at your tank checking what you never see before you check it to see if there's anything strange if there's any insects and i'm on the point of insects um i'll be doing a video um in a couple in a bit about insects in your pond such as the gliders the snails and some other bugs in which um, may exist so you can look forward for that video right but today i'm rather excited about my new batch of chromite fries in my tank and as i said before this tank it doesn't have any pump it, its filtration is um this water lady hyacinth water lady um what usually happens is that algae goes in the roots all right and the algae that goes in the roots is a snail all right algae that grows in the root um the kumai fries will actually um i'm crushing the snail yeah. and then i just drop the dima into the pond and the kumai fish will actually consume that um the the roots of the of the hyacinth lily have algae and the side of the the pond have algae and the fish and the fries will actually forage on this until the heart's desire. Several burrows are dug into the pond. Um, I showed it the last video. I do not know if you can see there's one here, a newly dug one here. I, I guess this one is the one for the new set of um, hatched um, spawned that um, presently exists. Right, each time when these fish are about to spawn, they dig some holes, or uh, they dig a hole, 
and they lay the eggs in the hole and they protect the hole from insects and predatorial fish now if you have these fish inside of a tank um you would probably put some pipes in it and you if you know that they are coupled if you know that these fish are paired together these fish will be paired together for life so it makes no sense to put more promise in it right they will just continue to breed until when their hearts are contented right and it's best when they are left by themselves because they will be aggressive if um bothered by other fish right as i said before my pond right it's a 55 gallon drum that was cut right um overflow is placed in it inflow is placed in it and the um outflow is placed in it right this is where this is where the water actually is released into the yard right all the way to there right um i have no problem with with the water being released because i've placed a special as i said in in other video i have placed a special um filtration thing at the bung that exists within the pond here right so that the fish won't get released into the yard right however this these holes acts as a overflow support from um from long time for a while right i will now have to get some silicone to actually um get it um caught so that um in case heavy rains and i mean heavy rains rains have been falling from last night right if you have rains do come um my comrades will not be get washed out into the yard um it's i'm excited i'm excited as i actually look at my chromites and knowing that i now have additional chromites right bear in mind that chromites lay eggs probably between 200 to 300 each time they spawn thank you for watching my chromites update i'll keep you informed i think when probably the next six weeks i'll be moving the chromites from this pond allowing the babies to grow um and putting them in on placing them in another tank which they will probably spawn more than um what they have have done thank you very, very much for watching again do continue to watch my videos as they are published and please remember to view share subscribe and like rally here bye bye